What's up, Internet and uh, Minecraft server admins here? This is Kaz, and I'm just uh, doing the, the weekly tutorial breakdown of uh, Essentials because this one seems to be into uh, an Essential plugin. I mean, the, the creators of it just make it cover everything. I mean, it covers jails, it covers buy and sell signs, warp signs. Uh, they even do permissions, protections. It's it's awesome. It does a lot of stuff. I don't use it for everything, but you can if you like to. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, you download from the Bucket website, and uh, there's basically three different downloads. There's the core, which kind of just lays out the bare necessities. Then there's the extras, which kind of lay out like uh, chat plugins for uh, third-party like websites and stuff like that. And then a group manager, which I don't use because I use PEX, as you can see from the tutorial earlier. Uh, you just download them there. Uh, the breakdown of like in each one of them, the core uh, lays out five different downloads. You get five different jars, essentials, chat, spawn, anti-build, and protect. I just use the essentials core, which is the basic, basic one, and chat, or essentials, chat, and spawn. Those are the three I use. I don't use the anti-build or the protect. Um, side note of that, if you are running this and you nobody can edit anything in your a uh, new server then it's probably because you have anti-build running and you haven't set it up correctly so look into that anyway the extra ones the bridge between the jabber chat network so you people outside like in facebook and gtalk can chat into it i may look into that one in the future but we'll see and then group manager uh is in there as well just it's a permissions based manager pretty straightforward and once you download these and extract them you get all these crap ton of jars the, the core are these first five, and like I said, I just use the chat, spawn, and essentials. You know, essentials core is the basic. It has the economy in it, all that stuff, uh, and then, like, the chat is if you want to modify the chat, and then the spawn is so you can, you know, uh, have control over where people spawn, and then uh, the GOIP and the XMP are the extras, and then the group manager and group manager or group bridge are both for the group manager. So let's get into it. Uh, let's look through. This is just the config file. After, this is for just the core. Um, it has a lot of stuff. They have great notes in there, so you really don't need all this. But I'm just going to go over a few things in here. Uh, you can change the ops names. Uh, I always set mine to none because I use permissions to do all the chat names. Uh, you can change. You can. Uh, this one's uh, commented out by default. This is for like using the slash nick command if you want to give people nicknames. Like I have a user, he's got this crazy long username and it's really hard. I always mess it up when I'm typing in commands against him. So I use a nickname and this this will show up. If you don't do the change player list, and when you um he's not gonna change it's not gonna change the name uh for anywhere else except for when you hold tab. Um all right, the other thing that I use because I have PvP. I don't want people like warping out of a fight or whatever. So I have delays and cooldowns for when people can add teleport commands. It's a big function. A lot of people use it. I highly suggest you use it so people can't uh, PvP abuse and get out of there once they start losing a fight. Um, you can put add stuff to blacklist. I don't really use this. I use World Guard for doing these blacklists, but you can use them in here just as a global setting. I don't really have any disabled commands, um, and essentials kind of move more towards a whitelisted commands. And these, you know, I've greatly reduced my whitelisted command list in here because I don't really use everything that essentials provides. But that's my choice. You can do whatever you want. The other thing that uh, I use in here is uh, kits. My cops they get armor and and swords and. Uh, I'm actually going to up this from 10 seconds to probably more like days. And keep in mind, it's by seconds. Uh, you can also use this. Um, I'm going to start using this for my donators where they can spawn uh, money. your the equivalent of money in the game um, every day or 48 hours. So I've seen a lot of fun uses of the kits command. Uh, you can have it do whatever you want. You can have enchantments, all that stuff. It's great. Uh, now onto the signs. There's a ton of signs. They're, I mean, just their wiki is fantastic. It lays out everything, everything you need to know. I don't really use a whole lot of the signs because I use uh, Chess Shop for buy and sell, and then I just, um, yeah, I think that's about all that I use. I use command signs for everything else. But 
Um, you can you ha they're all disabled by default because they can conflict with uh, other plugins. So you want to uh, d enable them just by getting rid of this uh, hashtag or the number sign. Hashtag for you new people, number sign for older people. <laughs> Uh, you can also change uh, how often they can use a sign. That's pretty straightforward. Now, this is the other thing that's kind of fun. Uh, you can set per warp permissions so that uh, I usually just leave it false, but it would force them to ha be in a group that, yeah, has a permission to do so. Um, I have auto AFK, which is pretty nice. Um, after five minutes, that's 300 seconds. Um, and then automatically comes back. Where is that one? Cancel AFK on move, so as soon as they start moving, it cancels it. Uh, boo, 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 boo. You can disable death messages. Like if you have a huge server and you just, you know, you've hundreds of people on and it's just spamming the filter when people die, turn that to false. Turns off the death messages. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Now you go to the home. So now you can do you can use the slash home command. Once again, people need to have permissions to it, and then you can even set it up where uh, people of different groups can set different homes, multiple homes. Like I said, this this you can use a plugin that does this, or you can just use Essentials because it does it all. Uh, now, an economy. I move from I economy over to Essentials economy just because it's I don't know. I don't want to be running a crap ton of plugins, and it works. It works pretty good. Um, you can change the currency symbol, which I did because our currency is greenies rather than money or you know dollars, and that's all. Now this is where the chat. Now I didn't really do much with this because um, Pex does it for me, but you can even do a radius where you have to be within so far of somebody else to hear them. A lot of big servers do this um, just because uh, it's just it's nuts if everybody's talking, you know. Uh, you can do group formats in here. Once again, PEX does this for me, but if you don't use that, it does it in here. Essentials Protect, don't really use this one, but uh, by default, it's pretty much good to go. Like You don't have to do a whole lot of configuration with this stuff. I'm just going to keep going through here. Um, you, you can edit your survival settings, PvP, all that stuff. Um, you can change what newbies say when, or newbies see when they connect to your server. So I said, they, they first time spawns to everybody, tells them, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's essentials. It's uh, it does a lot of stuff. You know, you have access. I use, or I use the jail. You know, warp all that stuff, and uh, it does everything you need to do. It's very essential for uh, running a Minecraft server. But you know, you can use other stuff. It just it's nice to have it all in one spot. So. Anyway, uh, check back in next Friday. Uh, I'll have another another uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm thinking I'm doing command signs next week. And, um, yeah, as always, enjoy the game. Uh -oh.